Welcome back. Next, we're going to move our styles out into separate files. So in my source directory, I'm going to make a new folder called styles. And then we can begin with our color box JS. We have quite a bit here at the top of the file. Let's move this out into a new file called colorbox styles.js. And then all we'll do is export default of this object. So this whole object is exported. We can close it down. Oh, and we should make sure we import chroma over there because we're using it in colorbox styles. So put that at the top because we're using it in places like right here. Now we can close out and we're going to import styles from and then dot slash styles slash color box styles. And now everything should still work. Hopefully, let's see. We're still doing with styles of styles, which we're importing here now. And our color box still works great. Okay. So we should also be able to delete the import color box dot CSS. We should be able to delete this file too. We'll wait to do it, but everything still works just fine. Let's do the same thing for our palette. So we have our palette JS and uh, right now we have the same styles for single color palette, but we've added on the go back button. We're going to merge these two components into one eventually. So I'm just going to have them use the same styles. So I'm going to make a new file called palette styles.js, paste that in there. We will export defaults, that object, save, and then inside of single color palette, we can import, let's just go with styles again, from dot slash, dot slash styles slash palette styles. We'll save, we're using the same styles down here. Let's do the same thing in our full palette. So delete this, add this in, save, call it styles again. We use it down here and everything still works on our palettes and our single color palettes. So that looks good. We should also be able to delete the palette.css and nothing has changed except for our palette footer, which we have to address. But before we do it, let's work on the mini palette. So we have these styles in our mini palette file. Let's cut them out, make a new file called mini palette styles.js. We're going to paste this in, export defaults, close out, and then import it here. So import styles from dot slash styles slash mini palette styles. And then we use styles down at the bottom once again. And our mini palette should still look good. Awesome. Okay, next let's tackle the palette footer. It's very simple, but right now it's not being styled because it was coming from our palette.css. We no longer include this file. So we need to add these styles in to our palette footer. So let's do that here. We can start by defining our styles like this, pasting this in and we'll have to refactor it a bit. So palette footer like that will be an object. I'll quickly clean it up and then camel case things just like that. And then the same thing for emoji, we can just make it its own class, font size, capital S, add in our quotes, add the comma in, same thing here, save, add the comma here, oh, and add my colon there. Okay, so we can start by importing with styles. We'll put that at the top, and then we export default with styles of styles with our palette footer. Save, and let's see if it works. We need to make sure we add in classes from the props, and then this is going to be replaced with classes dot palette footer and this is replaced with classes dot emoji. Save, and how does our footer look now? Perfect, and it should work on both pages, and it does indeed. Next, we can move this 
into a separate file just like we did with the rest. So we'll save, we'll call this palette footer styles.js, paste it in, export, default, save, come back to palette footer, import styles from dot slash styles slash palette footer styles. And it still looks good, exactly how we want it to work. So that's the footer. Now we can go to our palette CSS and comment that last bit out. We're not using that. We're going to delete all those files. Now we have, I think, one more component to tackle, which is our palette list. So palette list has the styles already defined here. We'll make a new file for that. Palette list.js. Paste this in. Export default. Come back to palette list. Import styles from dot slash styles slash palette list. Whoops, I wanted to rename this palette list styles, not palette list. And now we should be good to go. We're using styles down there. Let's go back to our palette list and it looks normal. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to commit now and this one will be, what should we call this? Uh, move out styles, something like that. And then we have one last thing to do with the nav bar and that will be next.